members of the public have played a really big role in finding out about it. They're obviously better at me at finding them. Draw. Ready? Okay. We're here at Intercardiff. Oh god, that was awful. This is going to be difficult. It's a carnivorous white underground slug. We've come here to the National Museum to find... Do National Museum? Cardiff Museum. National Museum of Wales? Uh, National Museum Wales. Okay, ready? It's already recorded. Okay, good. <laughs> Um, I'm Ben Rosen, uh, I'm the Senior Curator of Mollusks here at the Amgia the Cymru National Museum of Wales. Perfect. So could you just start by telling us a little bit about the museum's connection to the ghost slug? Ah right, well uh, here at the museum uh, we've got quite a long in history of being interested in mollusks. So that includes uh, slugs and snails and clams and mussels and octopuses and things like that. Okay, great, well let's start looking. Okay. Crystal. Get out of the shop. So why have we come out here today? Um, this is a place that we've come because it's the best place I know of to find a ghost slug in the wild. And this is an old railway track and um, it seems to be a really uh, ideal place for these slugs to thrive. They live under the stones and that also, that also means they're always quite close to the surface so they're fairly easy to get hold of. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, that's definitely a ghost slug. It almost swallows its own head because of the way its, uh, its mouth parts work. It's got this radula um, and it's made of all these tiny little teeth, uh, thousands of teeth actually, and it sticks them into the earthworm and then um, contracts and it kind of sucks the wor worm in, a bit like spaghetti. Go ghost slug. slug, that's what it's called, that's is it? Right. Amazing. Slug's not doing anything now. Okay. 